Welcome back to Blender Daily. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how we can link any image editing software with Blender so that we can then directly import and edit images from Blender. Let me show you. Okay, so in order to demonstrate how this works, I already prepared this scene with this beautiful painting right here. Now let's say that we want to make changes on this image in an external image editor. And this is actually very easy to do in Blender with a handy feature that is already built in. So to do this, we're gonna open up a new window and change this to the image editor. Then we need to load in this image into the image editor. For this, go to this drop down menu and just scroll through it until you find the correct image texture. In this case, it is this painting house texture that we're gonna select. And now in order to edit this in another image editor, go up to image and choose edit externally. However, if I do this now, you can see that I get this error message, which is happening because Blender doesn't know which image editing software it has to open. So before we can use this, we need to go to edit, open the user preferences and then go to the file path tab. Right here under applications, you can see that we have this image editor option where we can paste the file path to our image editing software that Blender should use. In this case, I'm gonna demonstrate this with GIMP. However, it works exactly the same with any other image editing software like Photoshop or Krita, for example. So let's jump into the file browser and look for the executable file of our image editing software. So in my case, this is GIMP and I found it under Windows, Program Files, GIMP 2 and then BIN. However, this file path might not be the same on your system. Once you found it, simply right click on it and choose Copy as Path. With that done, let's jump back into the preferences in Blender and paste this file path of our image editing software. In this case, it also added those quotation marks that I don't need so I'm just gonna remove them. Then also don't forget to go down here and save the user preferences. And when we now go back and under image, try edit externally again, you can see that this is going to open up GIMP and directly loads in our image. So now we can do any changes that we want. And in this case, I'm gonna go up to colors and make a hue shift so we can clearly see the difference to the original image. Once you are happy with the changes you made, go up to File and overwrite the original image. So save it in the exact same location with the exact same file name. And once the file is overwritten, we can go back into Blender and here we still have the original image. So to fix this, go to Image and choose the Reload option or use the shortcut Alt-R. Once I press this, you can see that our image is updated and not only in the image editor, but everywhere that you use the image in the blend file. I think this is a really handy feature to quickly open up any image from Blender directly in the image editor of your choice. Next, I also want to show you two common issues that you might run into when using this feature. So for the first one, let's close the image that we have currently opened and instead of opening up another one, we want to generate a new one by clicking on this plus button. I'm going to change the color from black to, uh, let's say, this green. Click OK. And Blender is going to generate this green image for us. Now let's say I want to edit this in GIMP. I go up to Image and choose Edit Externally. However, this time we're going to get this error message. This is because this image is only saved within Blender and doesn't actually have a location in my file system. To fix this, go to image again and choose save as. Then save it wherever you want in your file system. Give it a name, I'm gonna call it image and save it. When we now try again, image, edit externally, we don't get the error message anymore and the image is gonna be opened up in GIMP. Now we can make our changes in here. So for example, take the brush and paint something on it. Go to file and overwrite the original image. 
Then go back into Blender and this time I use the shortcut Alt R to refresh and we have our changes updated. Then another issue that you might run into if uh, let's say you have this image texture opened and if this were a packed image, so if I go up to image and then pack it, we have the same issue again if I go to image and choose edit externally. This image is packed, which means that it is only saved within the blend file, but doesn't have its own location. To fix this, again, you could use the save as option, or since it is a packed image, we can also click on this button up here to unpack it. And you could use any option from here. However, this time I'm gonna go with use file in original location. And once this is done, we can go back to edit externally. And this time it works and GIMP is opening up the image. This tutorial is sponsored by Polygonic, the creators of my favorite Blender add-ons. One of their plugins is Traffic, an awesome model library with cars and other vehicles. The add-on comes with lots of extras like rigged cars, customizable lights, car interiors and lots of street assets. There are three different variations of traffic available. Full, which includes everything, light with 33% of the assets, and there is even a free trial version. The link is in the video description. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something new. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.